Hey guys, it's Lee here. So this isn't the normal type of videos I kind of make. But yeah, Sega GT Online just got added to Insignia. So I'm going to be trying it out and see how it is. If you guys didn't know, I, yeah, I'm a big Sega GT fan. So first chance I got, I'm trying it. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Full player lobby, six people. I know you can get 12 people in this game in another game mode. But six is like the maximum for this type of game. You know, I'll try it, you know. Something I was trying ages ago for Sega GT. This is like a year or two ago. I was going to get back into speedrunning uh, Sega GT because if you guys don't know, uh, way before I started modding Mech Assault, well not way before, but a bit before I was modding Mech Assault, uh, I was actually speedrunning Sega GT and I had the world record for at least a bit, but yeah, it got beaten. So by like I think it got beaten by like six seconds, because kind of optimized, uh, ish. And the only way I could think to like increase the time was to play man uh, to drive manual, because in this game manual has a slight advantage of automatic, which kind of makes sense because it's harder to control. So. I was trying to learn how to play manual in this game, just to get like this extra six seconds. And uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to get used to it after you playing it automatic all this time. But yeah, there's also a glitch with manual in this game, uh, where you can get kind of like a speed boost at the start. If you start in the highest gear, you'll get like a tiny speed boost. Which, yeah, helps in a speed run, but hard to control the car, so... Yeah. Yeah, pick an interesting course, not just a circle. Uh, uh, no, that's, that has so many straight lines. <sighs> okay. Oh. I'll try, but there's faster cars here, so in straight lines I'm going to be punished. Oh wow, I did not know it showed every player. That's pretty cool. Uh, all my settings are like messed up, like the default settings is at least because uh, I kind of lost my profile because it was on a different Xbox. So I don't have everything I wanted to be. Like normally you can, you can make it so that you start in third person in this game. And I prefer to play in third person. Third person, third car, whatever you want to call it. That guy's laggy, Jesus. Yeah, sorry about the controller. Uh, this one is very clicky, so yeah. To be honest, uh, in the speedrunning, we usually don't even slow down that much. We usually just crash straight into the sides because. Uh, in this game, we're not really punished for crashing that much. I'm not playing my best here because... I'm so not used to it. I literally haven't played Sega DT in like a year. At least a year. And that was like only when I was playing it for like... a day or two. But yeah, most of you guys probably just know me as like... the guy who wants Mech Assault. But yeah, Sega DT... I played almost just as much as Lekasol when I was like a child, younger, basically. Where is this guy? I forgot what button it is to look behind me. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't be slowing down anymore. I should just be doing what I used to do in the speed run for this uh, map. Where you just crash into the walls. But some uh, corners you do want to slow down, because there's glass. So you don't want to touch that. Like here. Wow, how are these guys so far ahead? I mean, it makes sense because they have faster cars, but still. It does kind of remind me of Mech Assault in a way, and how uh, if you pick a better mech and at least build a Mech Assault, then there's like no real uh, downside. Maybe if you had like a point system, depending on like if you pick a worse car and, uh, and you do better, then it kind of makes it even-ish. 
There we go. Okay, so there's a little bit of distance at least between us. Like here, I think you want to slow down because you'll just have a head-on collision there if you don't. I'm sure if I had a lot of time to play uh, online mode, I'd get a better like, and start remembering how I used to speed on it. And trying to remember where the fastest cars are. Because that would help, but yeah. God damn it. Okay. Oh, I did the rest I could in this car at least. How did the guy in front of me have like, so much extra horsepower and the same car as me? Oh, okay, uh, team mode was not expecting that. I guess uh, my teammate picks my car? I've never seen this before. This is definitely not something in single player. At least it'll make for an interesting video. Please pick something good. Sega, uh, it's not Sega. Skyline? That's pretty good. Red team versus blue team, right? I have no idea how this works. I guess if just one of us wins? Like if uh, one of our teammates comes first and th that team wins? That's so cool, I didn't realize that was a game mode. Yeah, okay, I'll try, I'll try. Oh! Oh, it's not even- I'm not even playing right now. Okay, okay. Is it like a rally point system? Where they get to a certain point and then I change over? I, I have no idea what's going on. I haven't played this game for so long and this is a completely different game mode. That's what I'm used to. Like right there, you don't need to slow down. In the speed run, we go straight across the middle. Because even though you get slowed down by touching like the gravel area, uh, it doesn't really matter because it's way better than like slowing down and turning. So it looks like I'm going to have to try and get a comeback for my team. Ah, right here we drive straight across as well. But to be fair on that one, I'm not sure if it's absolutely faster. Okay, this guy is... Yeah. Not the worst, but <laughs> he's not making it easier for me if I have to take over. If I have to take over, because I have no idea how it works. Also, I just realized something like... I remember uh, in the announcement post for this on uh, Insignia, they said something about like a title update for the PAL version. I'm using the NTSC version because miles per hour is way better. Uh, but I don't know if uh, I don't know if I ever downloaded the update for this game ever. I don't even know if the NTSC version has an update or is it just like built into the game, kind of like Microsoft. My turn. Okay, what's going on? Is this me now? Oh. Am I controlling it? No. No idea. Already? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as you can tell, I'm very confused. So now we're controlling- I'm controlling his car. Okay, this is cool, I have to admit. I like this a lot. So if there's three people, what would happen? I have no idea. You take a turn like halfway through? Oh, it'll be three laps. That makes sense. I don't think I'll be able to make a comeback for my team, but I can damn try. <laughs> he's so far ahead, I'm just gonna have to like, he's gonna have to crash or something, I'm gonna have to do perfect. And that was definitely not perfect. That was pretty bad actually, to be fair. That was intentional that time. See, this is what I, was, I would do in the speed run. It just kind of makes sense, just taking a straight line. And you have to slow down anyway, no matter what. If you guys get what I'm trying to say. These lines are not good though. Nah, there's no way I can make a comeback. Jesus. He needs to crash if I'm gonna at least make some kind of like... Like, shorten the distance. Good, so okay, yeah. 
I kind of feel excited for this team. But this was so cool. Like, I like this game a lot. But to be fair, I thought there's only one kind of game mode in this. Online, I mean. Where you just race against each other. But this is so cool. That was intentional. No, it's so close. If my teammate just didn't do as bad, I maybe had a chance. Also 420. Damn it, I didn't get to finish. But yeah, that was fun though, jeez. Okay. I think I might make that into a video, just to see how it goes, you know. Because yeah, Sega GT is such a fun game to me. Yeah, baby!